If you're afraid, you are definitely not alone. Just days after businesses reopened, the Westgate shooter opened fire with an assault rifle on people who were likely just getting out for the very first time since this pandemic began. But a Phoenix psychologist says there are several steps you can take to process that fear that will help anybody mentally deal with these scary thoughts. The shitting happened right there. This Thursday, a mindset many Arizonans may be struggling with. My neighbor could have COVID and I could get shot if I go to the movies or go to a restaurant. That's overwhelming. Melissa Estevio is a licensed psychologist in Phoenix and says the man who shot three people at the Westgate Entertainment District Wednesday night <laughs> with the intent to shoot more just complicated internal healing so many people in Arizona have been working on. And this is really even more difficult because it just keeps reiterating this fear that we have that the world is not safe, that it's not predictable. But she says it's, it's important like to go through a mental process of your own to process what's happening in the world. The first step. It's very human to be afraid. It's very normal to be worried and concerned. She says allow yourself to feel the emotions and don't beat yourself up about it. She says many are now dealing with what she calls decision fatigue. I would say the vast majority of people that I talk to are feeling like they have the responsibility of making the right decision and they have no idea what the right decision is. And then the shooting just made it even more complicated to make that decision. She says step two is evaluating the decision to do something or go somewhere with the best information you have at the time, as it's impossible to have all the answers during this unprecedented time. And step three. If it turns out to be the wrong thing to do, I can't beat myself up about it because I made it based on the best information that I had. She says going through that will help make going back out in public less scary, but she also says isolation likely has not helped those who do have violent thoughts on their mind. So she says to vocalize your emotions and talk to somebody if you're struggling rather than internalize it. Brianna Whitney for Arizona's Family.